Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested. I'm here at Comic-Con 2018, can you believe it? And stop by the Eagle Moss booth. Costa, you and Eagle Moss put out so many ships. We certainly do, Star we ships. certainly do. An, an astonishing amount of them now, yeah. It, it, you guys started as a periodicals company, subscriptions for publications, and with those came these collectibles. Mm -hmm. And when you think of like Star Trek, there are a lot of ships. I have like the technical manuals yes, yes. and like from all the series. Yeah. And now that we have new shows, we're seeing the ships from those, which are digitally designed, mm -hmm. Physical, physicalized with your collectibles. Yeah. Can you talk about some of the products that you have from Star Trek Discovery and what's new in the Star Trek universe? Yeah, of course I can. Um, yeah, Discovery is really exciting for us as well because um, you're getting cutting edge 3D files, which is something you didn't get with the original series. Uh, and it means we get way more detailed models, which is really fun. Um, I can show you a couple of the new ones. Uh, do you want to show you the Vulcan Cruiser, which I'll get over here? These are designs, because you know Discovery, I know the Shenzo, like, mm -hmm. but they, they designed, the production team designed so many ships that maybe yeah. appear for one episode, glimpses. That's the thing. So, so there's certain ships that obviously um, now in season one are still relatively new. Uh, but uh, as anybody who's been a, a longtime Eagle Moss collector knows, we've done everything from ships that have never appeared on screen, concept yeah. ships, to ships that appeared on screen. This guy uh, appeared in, uh, in I think it was episode five. Mm. Um, and um, uh, it's probably one of the few Vulcan ships we saw. Um, really cool design. I mean, uh, the, the detailing on it is really fun. And um, I think with these ships, obviously, the Vulcan design aesthetic is, is a little bit changed from what we've seen before, but it still has those kind of sweet, sweeping, uh, uh, sleek lines, mm -hmm. which is really cool. Yeah, and when it appears in the show, even though the designers did a whole model, you may only see it from one angle. Exactly. Because that's what the shot they wanted, and with a collectible, I can see it from every yeah, angle. Yeah, you can light it how you, you get, want. You get a 3D, uh, three dimensional product that you can put up on your shelf and obviously look at in a, in a bit more detail. I mean, I know a lot of people have been quite critical of the Klingon ships, for mm -hmm. example, but uh, I think they make for some of the coolest models we've ever done. Um, I'll show you the Bird of Prey, which oh, is let's really take a look. cool. Yeah. This is probably one of the most intricate models we've ever done. And um, that's the Bird of Prey from Discovery. So, yeah, that's the Bird of Prey from Discovery. Um, the, the detailing on it is absolutely crazy. And whether you love the designs or hate the designs, I think they make for an absolutely incredible model. Wow, um, it's almost Giger-esque. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the, the rough design aesthetic, uh, the, the metal piping, um, we've got clear translucent plastic in there, um, and, and obviously the weathering and the detail on the wings, the feathering effect. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it makes for one of the, 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 the coolest, weirdest models we've ever done, I think. Now, the digital designs you get from production don't necessarily have all the the finishing on them because that happens in post-processing yep. so how do you go about designing a paint master for well, the products well we do get we do get the the, the finished 3d file as well mm. um, but it's just um, to take something that is a, a texture on a three-dimensional image um, and make it a actual physical product takes a bit more work so that's where um, we kick in uh, and that's where we sort of make our money and uh, um, figure out how to make the tooling work, how to apply all the detail that's on the finished model that appears on screen in a physical model. Um, obviously, in the smaller ships that we've done previously, that is um, a harder task. Um, one of the reasons why we went larger on the Discovery series is to get all those details in. Mm -hmm. Having such crazy uh, 3D files means that there's a lot more detail to do in the model. Right, right. Now, beyond the world of Discovery, are you revisiting the older tracks and, and expanding on that in that line? Yeah, of course, of course. Um, we've got, uh, I might show you the next couple XLs we've done. So, uh, we got this line, which um, it's our XL ship line, so obviously revisiting the, the ships we've done before in the regular scale, doing them in the bigger scale, mm -hmm. um, putting, a, putting a bit more uh, detail into them. Uh, this guy is our next XL ship, the, the Enterprise B. Yep. Uh, and we also have a Reliant, which I'll show you, which is probably my favorite XL we've done so far. Are these complete new, new, uh, new geometry, new models, and not just the old ones scaled up? No, yeah, so basically it's not as simple as just scaling them up when we go to the larger scale. Um, uh, obviously you can, you can just scale up the model, but the detailing doesn't 
doesn't scale up. So even when we do take an existing model we've already done, we always add extra detail. Got it. So I mean, if you look at this compared to the uh, original Reliant, there is significantly more detail in this guy. And then we can do nice things like the, the translucent plastic in there. So when you put light behind it, it looks like it's glowing. Yeah. Um, obviously we don't do models that actually light up. Uh, all our stuff is die cast. But um, we, we are able to put in a bit of those extra little touches in there to make it uh, a little bit nicer. I this even is, noticed some of like the specular highlighting, mm -hmm. you know, the extra sheen, not on every panel, mm -hmm. just so light bounces off just a little bit differently. Yeah, exactly. And same with the paint finishes. Uh, that's one of the things that we've had a lot more chance to do on the bigger ships. Um, when you do uh, uh, detailed uh, Aztecing and things like that, mm -hmm. um, Obviously at a smaller scale, there's only so much you can get away with. At a larger scale, you can do a lot more. And same with the paint finishes. Uh, this guy's not 100% complete yet, but it's pretty darn close. And I'm really happy with how it's turned out. I know fans of the products you make, they contribute to like a wiki, like a, a wiki yeah. of, of products. Yeah. And you have you know dozens, if not hundreds of these already. Mm -hmm. How far ahead do you plan your line, your lineup. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, we have to work very far ahead because obviously we have to, to tool and that takes quite a long time. So most of the time we're at least probably nine months ahead and most of the time it's probably a year to a year and a half ahead. So I've got secrets in here I can't tell anybody. Ship designs from production, which may lead to clues to plot points. Uh, oh. Yeah, with uh, with Discovery especially, they're very it's, everything's very, very tight-lipped. Uh, but yeah, I mean, for example, it's uh, it's not much of a spoiler now. We saw an Enterprise at the end. Uh, we knew that was coming for quite a while ahead, and we had to just shut our mouths. Uh, so some of those sort of things, um, as a fan, uh, is amazing when you get to know something no one knows and then just keep it to yourself. I think it's safe to say as long as there's Star Trek in the future, there will be more ships. Oh, of coming. course, yeah, of course. Awesome. Thank you so much, Casas. Okay. Pleasure to meet you, and can't wait for these to come out. No worries. Nice to meet you. Thanks for watching this video. If you were watching it and thinking, boy, I wish Tested sold a t-shirt, your prayers are answered. I am wearing the first Tested t-shirt that proudly proclaims that one day builds always take longer than a day. Buy yours right now in the link below.